Welcome to the Wealth Transfer with TC. Today, I want to talk about what took place with KuCoin canceling out a lot of users across the globe as their limit orders, whether it was buy or sell limit orders, whether they were old or whether they were new. And I actually have something from what KuCoin said before they were actually going to do this. So it wasn't planned that they were going to cancel a lot of these orders, but it ended up because of an upgrade that they ended up canceling many of these orders. And it's very important the reason why, and people need to hear what is actually taking place within the crypto markets. Now, first, before I get into that, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing information, giving you my thoughts and my opinions on that information. And if you guys like these videos that I make, the support links are down below in the description. Now, the first thing is, is that KuCoin is a foreign exchange. It was an exchange that back in 2021 we could use until the United States decided to sue KuCoin. And then KuCoin uh, cut off U.S. users signing up with new accounts and they gave people time to get their cryptocurrency off of their accounts. And there's a lot of people across the world who like using KuCoin and they wanted to stay using KuCoin. So a lot of people did uh, end up using a VPN to access KuCoin and to keep some of the, their funds on there. I opted to take a lot of stuff off of KuCoin that I had on there and I shifted that to other either platforms or other priorities. So if you are here in the United States, you can't just go up and sign up with an account with KuCoin. And here we have this article from Binance, KuCoin limit order cancellation sparks concerns. Leading cryptocurrency exchange KuCoin is facing backlash as users around the globe report the sudden cancellation of their spot limit orders on all USDT pairs. The unexpected action comes without any prior notice from the exchange, leaving traders concerned and frustrated without an official response from KuCoin regarding the situation. Coinbase followed a similar action on June 26, canceling all SHIB USDC orders. Older than 90 days and below 90% of the current price or above 100x of the current price. Coinbase did, however, provide prior notice on this action. The abrupt cancellation of KuCoin orders has raised concerns about their transparency and led to speculation about something bigger which may be brewing in the crypto space surrounding the surge of unusual cancellation of orders. So they are right. It does seem weird. Coinbase is doing what they're doing and then you see, then you see what KuCoin is doing. But I'm getting ready to get into the reason why. Now, they just didn't cancel all my USDT orders, they canceled my USDC orders too as well, right? So I had recently placed probably within the last few months some other orders and they're no longer there either and there's no history either. So when I'm gonna go back and I wanna look to see what orders I had in, I can't even do that. So just to tell you what KuCoin had said previously, and this was on July the 2nd of 2024, right? It's on their website. Most people aren't looking at their announcements and it didn't seem to catch like across the crypto community what was gonna take place or what was gonna happen. But I think this is very important, especially for the future of cryptocurrency and how it relates to how, how do we trade against some of the things that uh, are taking place. And on July the 2nd, it says here, important update, upgrade plan for spot high frequency accounts. Dear Coin Spot API users, since the launch of the high frequency spot accounts last year, the stability of Spot API has significantly improved. The latency has been greatly reduced. However, currently two systems coexist. Customers using low frequency systems still experience high latency and other issues. Therefore, from July to September, we will be merging and migrating the existing low frequency and high frequency systems. The overall process is as follows. The release schedule, this update will be rolled out in batches on user UID and only affected customers will be impacted. The first batch will be July the 4th at 5 UTC time. So they already went through that one. On the 8th is when the cancellation took place. And so the second batch update is on the July the 8th. And then there's another update that is coming on July the 10th, right? So if the July the 8th batch is the one that actually wiped out all the orders or the excuse to wipe out all, all the orders, we have another one coming on July the 10th. That And what is the impact during release? This release will only affect low frequency accounts with high frequency accounts remaining unaffected. Migration of the first batch of low frequency accounts. 
During the migration process, there may be a, a brief few second windows where order placement, cancellation, or acute carry operations may be unavailable. Additionally, spot orders on low frequency counts may be canceled by the system, affecting APP Web API. So they told you here the impact during this release could end up canceling out all the orders. And that's exactly what happened. Some people said that some of their orders weren't canceled. Uh, but you know what? We're just going to wait and see. And there is another update that is coming. So the orders that you just placed today, yesterday, you may have to redo them again. Well, today's the 9th, so that would be tomorrow on the 10th. So we just have to wait and see what happens. And so this is very important, too, because if you want to know what high frequency trading accounts, right, API, you can use your trading bot to connect to your account and you have bots that are trading for you. All right. And this is what I've talked about before previously, folks, that the cryptocurrency trading world is being run by bots. That's why when you see all these cryptos dump, they're all dumping at the same time. They're all going up at the same time. It's because of bots. People aren't just logging into their account and just canceling and just selling off stuff. Some people are, but mostly when you see the markets move together and every coin has the same pattern, it's because it's the bots that are at work that's controlling most of what is taking place in the crypto world. And I believe that when it comes to the flash crash and flash spike, bots are going to play a huge role in this. High frequency trading. What is it? Using powerful computer programs to transact a large number of orders in fractions of a second. High frequency uses complex algorithms to analyze multiple markets and execute orders based on market conditions. All right, so all these bots that people are using to connect to their accounts. Now, it's not just people, but it's also hedge funds. So I do believe that this is going to be connected to flash crashes and flash spikes and some that we've seen in the past, right? And so that's the other reason why we prepare. It's not just for the big flash crash or the big flash spike. This actually happens on different platforms. So that's why the other reason we set these orders up. We're not just waiting for the big one, but we're also waiting for smaller ones that do happen. Because of the upgrade is the reason why they cancel the orders, at least that's the excuse that they gave anyway. So if you do reset up your orders, make sure you take a snapshot of what you put up because they are going to do another upgrade that could take out those orders. Now, is this an attack on the wealth transfer? It surely feels like it since what just happened with Coinbase. I'm sure that they use this opportunity to clear out their books, right? I probably would too if I was running the exchange. But the difference is, is that they didn't tell us like, hey, your sell and buy limit orders might be canceled, right? Just like they did here, right? They should have made a bigger deal out of this instead of people waking up and then people all over the globe wanting to know what was going on. The other thing it says, spot orders on low frequency accounts may be canceled. So if some people are saying that their orders are not canceled, it might be because they're using a bot and they have a high frequency account. Right, so uh, our bass asked a question, and this is very important too, because I'm just going to share a, a little bit of strategy here. I hate that I lost my very early BTC and ETH orders in the order book, but maybe it's a blessing since I no longer have them in USDT. Now, there's a lot of issues with the USDT. People have claimed to have dreams and visions of tether crashing, right? And, and those, and some of those have come from known false profits. Tether, which I've already explained in another video, they're doing everything they can to become to become compliant. As you can see, it's not that big of a deal uh, what has taken place as far as European regulations. So it looks like everything so far is you know smooth as far as that. Now, when it comes to your trading strategy, when it comes to placing low and high sell limit orders, you have to look at the volume and what stable coins are being used. So I responded to him and, he, and I said, out of the top 100 exchanges per volume with BTC, right, 85% is USDT, 8% was USD, and 7% is USDC. Your strategy should be based on volume exchange for the coin that you're trying to low buy limit order. For an example, Coinbase BTC pairs rank in volume, USD 607 million, then USDT 67 million and Euro 49 million. 
So on Coinbase, you should have more orders in USD than in USDT or Euro. Volume on KuCoin, 126 million USDT, 3 million USDC. So I'm going to have more orders in USDT than USDC, right? And that's because of the volume. If there's a big sell-off and these bots are selling off Bitcoin or Shiba Inu or whatever, they're going to sell it off in whatever coin that they're programmed to sell it off in. So if most of the volume is in USDT, then when there's a sell-off, right, then they're going to sell off in mostly USDT. And when it comes to the flash spike, so if there's a flash spike, it could be in USDT. On KuCoin, more than likely it's going to be USDT as opposed to USDC, but we're prepared for both. You're going to have more sell limit orders in USDT than you are in USDC. But you want to make sure that you have some in both. So if I'm selling Shiba Inu, this just as an example, for a penny or for a dollar, I'm going to have more of it on KuCoin in sell limit orders on USDT than I will on USDC. And I also use Coin Glass to look at my strategy as far as low and high sell limit orders, right? So when I look at Bitcoin, right now we know there's only 19 and a half million Bitcoin that has been produced. About 6 million of it has been lost forever. And currently there's only 2.465 million on the exchanges. Now I will add a couple of million to that because they're not including most of the exchanges. Right, and here there's only the top 20, and they have 20 listed as FTX. And so, when I want to see what are actually the highest volume exchanges that are out there that's dealing with Bitcoin, right? So, you go to the Bitcoin markets, right? Binance is number one, Coinbase number three, right? So, the list goes on all the way down to 100, right? So, you can look at what are all the trading pairs for Bitcoin. And, but then you can also look, especially if you live outside the United States, those people that live outside the United States have a greater advantage for those of us who live in the United States because you have so many more markets to work with. So if I want to look at the volume for the top exchanges dealing with Bitcoin, then I'm going to click on volume. And there are exchanges I've never heard of, like Orange X, Bat to X. Future X Pro, Whitebit, I've heard of that before, but, you know, Bybit, MEXC, Bullish, I've heard of, I actually have some stuff on MEXC, Indo OX, BitTrue, and then Coinbase Exchange. So there's a lot of volume on other exchanges that I'd never heard of. So even though CoinGlass saying there's only like 2.5 million Bitcoin on exchanges, if you include probably all the exchanges, 790 total, there's probably at least two more million out there. You have to really strategize when you're placing your low buy limit orders. And you, and you don't just have to do it with Bitcoin. You know, we've talked about Shiba Inu too as well. And which exchanges have the most Shiba Inu. You know, Coinbase is ranked number 10. But you have at least exchanges that we can use here in the U.S. Like Gemini and Bitstamp that are ahead of Coinbase. But look at all these other exchanges like OKX, Gate, KuCoin, Hubaya, Corbit. Right, Bitfinex, which which is holding a lot of Shiba Inu. So when you're placing low buy limit orders, especially if you live outside the United States, you have access to a lot of these uh, platforms. But once again, you also do want to check when it comes to the exchange volume, just to help you strategize which platforms actually have more volume dealing with Shiba Inu. Here's some platforms I never heard of before, and then Coinbase is ranked number seven. Right for having the most volume with Shiba Inu. So that's how you're going to strategize. So I just wanted to throw that out there uh, that you can use CoinMarketCap and CoinGlass to strategize how you're going to place your low buy limit orders and what stablecoin or even fiat. On some platforms, I, I can use Euro. So I have low buy limit orders in Euro. It gives me more access to whatever coin that... I'm trying to get in a flash crash. Do I think this is a direct attack? No, I don't. Do I think that they use this as an excuse to clear out their spot orders? Yes, I do. Did it affect everybody in the wealth transfer? Uh, mostly everybody. 
And why are they doing this? They're doing this because they want to improve high frequency trading, which is basically bot trading. And don't forget, folks, they have another upgrade coming out on July the 10th. Your orders might be canceled again. Keep in mind, you can use a strategy as far as like using coin market cap and coin glass and using it the balances to kind of see where you want to place some of your orders uh, here on out in the future and maybe even change some of your strategy depending on your platforms that you're using. And keep in mind, if you're outside of the United States, that you can use a lot of these different platforms without any issues. Here in the United States, we're limited. If you do your strategy right to me, it doesn't even matter. I don't care that I don't have very much on KuCoin. It's going to happen on other platforms too as well. And as far as people saying don't reset your orders and have faith that your canceled orders are going to be filled, stop listening to that foolishness. That's all that I have for this today. I thank you guys for listening. God bless. TC out.